Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the WAN remote desktop protocol on your Huawei router. This happens to be the B315 router. I happen to be with Telcom and it's irrelevant who you're with. The most important here is are you using an LTE card? See, now in my case there is no uh, ADSL option or fiber optic, there's only a wireless option. So what happens is we need to be able to set up remote desktop to a local host on this network. Now even if you weren't with the LTE, it would actually be the same process. So this is for people who are sitting with a WAN card or if you are on ADSL, it's the same process, but this happens to be a LTE enabled router. Okay, the very first thing you need to do is decide if you actually need the remote desktop protocol. Now, the point of the remote desktop protocol is that you can remotely log in through your router to a local host on your network. For example, here I have a remote desktop option and it's open and I am logging in to a computer that is on the network. So, what you'll need to do is on your local network decide which computer is going to be the local host okay now I have logged in remotely to a local host on the network now this could be your own desktop a NAS or whatever it is so you can see I'm now through the local remote desktop login so once you are logged in through you've set up a remote session on the host that you want to uh, make available on the network or maybe it's the very computer that you're working from uh, you must make sure that if you are going to be doing this that if you go to properties you go to remote settings it must be enabled otherwise it won't work you've got to say allow remote assistance connections to this computer so once you've done that, then you can also set how many connections are available and also how long they stay active. You can also set a time. All right, so that's very important. To, to activate the remote uh, setup, you go there to my, this PC, you say properties, and then you say remote settings, and that will allow you to have the remote desktop protocol running on that um, host. Right, so obviously this host is already working because I've logged into it. And how I got here is on your uh, Windows, you'll just say remote desktop and you'll get the remote uh, desktop app. And you'll see that then you'll put in the computer name and the username and then it'll ask for the password. All right. Getting back to the router settings. Now, you'll go to the settings. You would have to log in. Then once you are logged in, you'll go to the settings tab on the Huawei B315 and there are two settings you'll need to do for this remote desktop from over the WAN connection. The first one is the security tab. You'll have to go to uh, special applications and you will need to set up something called a special application. So you'll add and you'll say remote desktop protocol you'll put the trigger port which is 3389 the trigger protocol which is TCP UDP and then you must open the port on the router 3389 so that you'll need to do that all right then you'll need to go to the virtual server and you'll need to actually direct that port to the local host on your network so for example on my network, I have uh, I've named it RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. It's on the WAN port 80 because it's coming through the internet. And this is the local IP address. So you might be wondering, what does this mean? That is the host's IP address on your local LAN. That is the, the LAN is, are the PCs that are on the inside of your router, not the ones that the world can see, the ones that you can see while you're uh, at your office or whatever locally so this is the host if I didn't if I wanted another PC to be the host I would have to put its IP address for example if I want the IP address of the PC that I'm using I'll go to um, 
and a network and sharing center and then I'll go to the adapter settings and I'll go to IP version 4 and I'll get the IP address of the current PC that I want the a remote desktop to be able to log into. So this is the IP address of the host on the network and then that is the default port 3389 and then uh, the protocol. Right, now you've done that. Now you may log in from outside of your network through the internet to your uh, local host. Now just in case it doesn't work, now this is a problem and I have, it, in my case it didn't work. On the Huawei B315, you'll have to also allow that IP address of the local host to, to uh, be in the DMZ settings, the demilitarized setting. So it says here, if a PC cannot run network application through the gateway, enable the DMZ function and enter the IP address of the PC below. So here is the IP address of the PC because it didn't work when I tried to log in via my remote desktop client on another PC. So you, you can enable that. But first check if it works without having to do that. All right, now I'm assuming you have already set up your DDNS. Remember that the remote desktop login will only work if you have a DDNS service. The DDNS is somebody on the internet who's providing you a pointing service. Remember, unless you own your own public IP address, this won't work. You still need to have some sort of pointing service. So what you could do is you could get the details of your IP address. You could go and uh, look under uh, system. I'm not going to show it because I don't really want you to see all those details of mine. But you can go under system and it'll give you the current public IP address. And if you put that into your, uh, maybe you, you, you want to log in via your phone, then if you put that IP address, it will log in. But then tomorrow when your re route has been restarted by your internet service provider, it won't work because they'll have given you a new IP address. They might even give you two IP addresses a day. So therefore, that is why we need the DDNS. All right, so what you can do is you can go to noip.com and you can actually go and you know rent an IP address if you like. And then once you've signed up with them, it doesn't have to be noip.com, it could be DDNS, um, dynamic DDNS, there's lots of people who provide uh, a DDNS service. So in, in this case, what you would do is you would find the one that you're using. Okay, in this router, they're specifically wanting you to use the dynamic DNS or the no IP. If you don't see this no IP option, your router needs a firmware upgrade. Then what you'll do is, in, in my case, uh, if I'm using the no IP, then I'll put it on, and then it'll want the domain name, it'll want the username and the password. So this is, uh, please don't think that's my password, this is just uh, Mozilla storing old stuff. So this is the domain name that you got when you registered with noip.com. They will give you a domain name or you will choose your own. You choose something that's complicated. Don't call it your address, please. Call it something like wolverine194 hash whatever dot dns dot com. You see that name you'll come up with and then your username, your password. All right, so that is uh, how you'll uh, set this up. Your username and password is going to be the username and password of your DDNS service. So once, just to recap, right, you'll need the DDNS here if you do not have a public IP address. 99% of people do not have a public IP address, so you'll have to probably do this step second. The first step would be to know the IP address of the host that's going to be on your network. In my case, the IP address of the host is going to be 10.0.0.100. So when I log in through the RDP, the router is going to know automatically any RDP packets are going to be forwarded to this IP address. And then you'll need to open these ports, which I've done. And then you might need, to, yeah, then you'll need to do these special applications, which is just to open the RDP on the router. And then in some cases, not all, you'll need to do the DMZ. First do it without, and then do it afterwards. And that's it. You'll be able to use your remote desktop. You can, maybe if you've got an Android phone, you'll, uh, you'll use, or maybe if your cell phone, 
you might want to use the Windows RDP setting and then from your cell phone while you're um, traveling you can log into your computer on your network or your server in your office and that's uh, what this video is supposed to solve. Anyway, thanks for watching.